Welcome to our service for Holy Eucharist. We are here today to celebrate Elizabeth Kruchter. We'll begin our service for those of us with us in person in your bulletins and for those with us online in the links for the description in this video. So please stand as you are able as we start our service. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Pour out thy spirit upon all thy sons and daughters, almighty God, that like thy servant Elizabeth Cruciger, our lives may praise thee, our lives may bless thee, and our worship may give thee glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Elizabeth Kruchiger, who we celebrate today, was a hymn writer back in Luther's time. So because we are in full communion with the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America, she and she has deep roots, obviously, with her connection to Martin Luther, to the Lutheran Church. We have added her in the Episcopal Church to our lesser feast and fast just this past year. As Kutcher was a hymnographer, a writer of hymns, it's also appropriate that we read the Magnificat today, the Song of Mary. We read it as our gospel, even. Now, while Mary's song was new, and, of course, inspired by the Holy Spirit, it also has roots in something much older, mainly the song of Hannah. Now, Hannah's song was what she sang in joy for finally giving birth to a child, finally giving birth to a baby boy, a boy who would grow up to be the prophet Samuel the one who would anoint the first kings of Israel, including King David, through who Jesus was descended from. 
Now, if we look at the words of these two songs, the song of Mary and the song of Hannah, the words are very similar. Though the spirit of each is a little bit different. The song of Hannah is a song of joy after longing and waiting for a child. For Mary, these words are after receiving news out of the blue, completely unexpected, completely unprepared for, for the coming of a child, coming of a child by the Holy Spirit. And while this child would put her life in danger, Mary still sings in joy for the salvation that is going to come from this child and for her part, her role in that work. Of salvation. Mary's song is new, and yet it has its roots in something much older. Kutcher was a follower of Martin Luther's Reformation, who had been similar in her work. She was writing new hymns, and yet as a reformer, they would have been rooted in what had come before in the words of Scripture. And even though she was writing something new, that thing that was new has been celebrated throughout these centuries, both in Lutheran circles and in Anglican circles, too. Now, one of the frequent refrains we hear in the Psalms, the great hymnal of the Tanakh, the Old Testament, of the Bible, is this, sing to the Lord a new song. Kutcher did just that, just as Mary did before her. These songs may have been rooted in what came before, the roots of her faith, even. And yet, these songs, these writings were new in their time, though we've continued to enjoy them throughout the centuries. Now, we must ask ourselves, what new song are we going to sing? We must always root everything in our faith, in the love of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. But we must find new ways to praise our Lord that can reach all in this time and place, and hopefully as well to those in the future beyond. As this is not a major feast day of the church, our service now continues with the prayers of the people. We'll be following Form 3, which you can find online or you can find it in your bulletins. Father, we pray for thy holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve thee. That thy name may be glorified by all people. We pray for our bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of thy word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in thy sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light like perpetual shine upon them. We praise thee for thy saints who have entered into joy. May, May we also come to share in thy heavenly kingdom. 
Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Robin and Jeff and Veronica. We pray for the entrance of Joe into thy heavenly kingdom. Lord, hear the prayers of thy people, and what we have asked for faithfully, grant that we may obtain effectually, to the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now for any who wish for the laying on of hands and anointing, you may come to the altar rail at this time. Savior of the world, by thy cross and precious blood, thou hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we do humbly beseech thee, O Lord. I lay my hands upon thee in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace, that thou might know the healing power of his love. I lay my hands upon thee in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace, that thou might know the healing power of his love. Amen. I lay my hands upon thee in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold thee and fill thee with his grace, that thou might know the healing power of his love. Amen. I anoint you with this oil in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I anoint you with, in the name, with this oil in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I anoint you with this oil in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you are outwardly anointed with this holy oil, so may our Heavenly Father grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. Of his great mercy, may he forgive you your sins, release you from suffering, restore you to wholeness and strength. May he deliver you from all evil, preserve you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, bow and obey. Be now and evermore our defense. Make us know and feel that the only name under heaven given for help and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. Peace to all of those watching with us online as well. As we move into the Holy Communion portion of our service, walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us in the offering and sacrifice to God.
Our service continues with Eucharistic Prayer 1, which can be found on page 333 in the Book of Common Prayer. Since we're remembering a hymnographer today, uh, we'll go ahead and sing our way into the start of our Eucharistic Prayer. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very neat, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Because thou art greatly glorified, as in the assembly of thy saints, all thy creatures praise thee, and thy faithful servants bless thee, confessing before the rulers of this world the great name of thine only Son. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, the Son of the Highest. O glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou, of thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered. A full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and then his holy gospel command us to continue, the perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for me, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, our Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, to be in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty things, to the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness such today to bless and sanctify, with thy word and holy spirit, these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. We earnestly desire that fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, with something beseech you need to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and their faith in his blood, we in all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee. I believe this each day that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. Although we are worthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, Yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Now, as your Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover once for all, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, take us away the sins of the world. Have no mercy on us, O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Our service now continues with the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, 
we most heartily thank thee, for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries, the spiritual food and the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and forebears in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs to hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we only beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost we all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord shine the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.